Mind the noise, lads. The St Albans fans are getting a bit rowdy. A bit rowdy. Let's see what's been happening. Yo, what is happening? Welcome back to the St Albans journeyman. We're on a journeyman, remember. We're here at the moment. We're enjoying our time here. Uh, we just played another game between the last time we met. Obviously, we done the FA Cup second round, which went to a replay. We won that 5-1. A few different goal scorers on there. It was a good day. But um, we just played Chelmsford in the league. Big game for us to win, actually. And if you look at this for a game, we brought on Nathan Tormey in the second half. He popped up with a goal. 80, 77th minute. On the 83rd minute, Ode Alpha. I made it one each. But you know who. Giorgio Russell, the beast from the east. The big man. The big man. Does he have any nice... Let's, we need to know a bit more about this man. This man is... He is unbelievable. I would like to... How is he feeling playing for the club at the moment? He's optimistic about his future at Albion's. He appreciates my pos position as manager. He's happy with his playing time. He's loving it in an Albion shirt. He's loving it. He's got a little bit of Italian in there, which explains the level of football. He's got good Italian language. English fluent, um, place of birth, Banbury. This this man's pretty big player. His favourite club is Napoli. So we've just got to know a little bit about Giorgio Antonio Rasulo. But that's not why we're here today. Today we are here because we are about to play Hayes and Yeadon in the FA Cup third round qualifier. If that does not go to a replay... We will also do the Eastbourne Borough game as well. Um, so I will see you in the main terraces. I'll see you there. See you there. Okay, so no messing about on this game. We are going at full strength. Actually thinking of dropping Ben Wyatt. He's not been playing as well as he could. And Jordan Ina is about to get a start. He's been playing well in the games that he's came on. I'm pretty happy with him. Everything else sort of picks itself at the moment. We don't have a great deal of depth. for very much a two-man squad. Tormey, Rousseau, our main men, obviously. Jeffers there as well. Wouldn't say he's great, um, but he's an icon. Loves it here, and let's get into it. Hopefully, we can keep this FA Cup journey going. This is... A pretty favourable draw, you would think. And I would be expecting us to do a bit of... Do bits. Um, obviously away from home here. Big game. Big game. Come on, boys. I'm, I'm feeling really good about the Albion. We'll have a look at the league table after this game. Free kick here, edge of the box. Looking for Roberts to deal with whatever comes his way here. It's Gambin, steps over it, shoots it. Oh dear. I don't want to be that guy, um, but I'm not happy with the keeper there. That's looks pretty standard. It's right in the top corner, in fairness. 1-0. Um, maybe the FA Cup run might be coming to an end a little sooner than we thought. I hope not. I really do hope not. I think this is a better draw for us than them, to be honest. Need Russell or something to step up, do something. Been a pretty poor half thus far. Oh, another set piece. Okay. Okay. Let's get these boys in at half time and have a talking to them. I'm not happy with what I'm seeing here. Okay. Um 
what do you say to that? I, I just simply want a much better display. That was ridiculous. Um, Griffiths going to come off. On comes Mema. Give us a little bit of something different. We're going to stick Rousseau on. Ina's let us down. Unfortunately, that gamble has not paid off. And we will leave everything as is. Rousseau is going to have to stay on the pitch, unfortunately. He's really is about all we've got. And hopefully we get a bit more out in this half. Come on, boys. I don't want to go out. I don't want to go out. This is good for us to be in this. Just nothing. Mensa on a Rousseau. Over to Clark. Now to Bowery. Borges is very, very side to side. No flow about us. That's a little bit better. Rousseau finds Torme. Torme carries it forward. Mensa, come on. Blackman, that's poor. That is so poor. Okay, this is... Gamble time. Um, really should be taking off Hammond. Chambers, I feel like we're needing a little bit more of an attacking spark. And we're going to bring on Hoddle as the Mazala with Rousseau to try and change the game. Maybe take it to a replay if that is an option. Bowery's not a great game. Come on, boys. Just a little pause there. We need, we need to make some... Changes are going to be considerably more direct. We start now shooting in sight, be a bit more expressive. I'm happy with attacking web. Right, let's go. Already highlight Wyatt. Mema. Tormey makes it one each. Big goal. Absolutely massive goal. Okay, excellent. It's good football there, it's a good ball in, Wyatt who comes off the bench to justify his place, Mema then finds Tormey straight across and it's a good finish by a man that's not had the greatest of games, Mema definitely, and here's another chance, Rousseau on the corner straight off of that one, cleared by Dunn, Tormey again on to Wyatt, Wyatt, Jeffers, wow. You really expect that to go in. Chance here, Adams. Sends it forward. I hope this is not their highlight. It might be, though. Odelissi. Knoil. Molnar. This is a little worrying here. Mema cuts it out. Good play. Rousseau. What a ball. That range. Jeffers. Two. One. Sean Jeffers gives St. Albion the league. It's that partnership again of Rousseau. Mema has changed the game since he's come on. He doesn't really start games very well, which is concerning. And then Jeffers just sends it. Just send, does what he does best. It's a, oh, another highlight. Hoddle. Oh, no. Boys, please. Let's hold the line. Jeffers again. To me finds Rousseau. Rousseau that little reaching ball again. Jeffers, he's not done that, has he? He has not done that, has he? Jeffers with a dink. Rousseau again. We made the right decision to keep him on. Tormey, and it comes. Jeffers one and one. Look at that dink. Is this non-league football? Is this the Vanarama South? Is this the Vanner? And, oh, great. Um, he's pulled a hammy on that one, Sean Jeffers, and will be going off injured. We will finish this game with 10 men as we have no more allocated substitutes. If that's a long-term injury and he's not back by next week, the other problem we have is we have no striker. And we're getting into crunch time on the games at the moment. Excuse that noise. Someone's going by in the aeroplane. Come on, boys. Let's just see it out now. Surely. Okay. Sanmi Odelisi. 
makes it three two. Unfortunately, we we can't really do much. We're down to ten men. That might just be a consolation. Um. Wow. Um. The the referee wanted to give as much extra time as they possibly could. I think we got to the hundredth minute there, and that's a win. That's a win. The FA Cup journey continues. So hopefully we'll get to see that draw today. Uh, it's another five thousand in the coffers. It's, ah, Sean Jeffers, three weeks, boys. Oh no. Okay. Three weeks, no Sean Jeffers, unfortunately. Yeah, you're going to have to be patient. Roberts is on a heater every single game at the moment. Can't really take him off. We're going to do one more game, financial update. We're, we're putting some money in the coffers here. Will we be rewarded? Um, I'll wait a little bit. And maybe we'll get a coaching badge. Or should I be a bit cheeky? How are they feeling about it? They're giving me an A- minus at the moment, which I think is a good time to ask to start a coaching course. The money's there. I've earned the money. I think it should be invested on myself, make me a better manager. Give me the National C license, what have they said here? They've rejected it, okay. Well, we appreciate that it's a very valid thing to want to do. We fear that could lead to, <laughs> lead to a bigger club coming in for your services. Excellent, so they're holding me hostage here. Uh, I'd like to... Okay. Excellent. Um, they don't want to develop me. I'm basically a hostage in St. Albans. Let me see the contract because I would like to... Our contract runs to the end of this season, so unless I'm getting a coaching course, we will be rejecting it and a significant wage rise. If you didn't know, I don't know if I did mention this last time, our new under-21s manager, Danny Drinkwater. Big Dan. Dan the man. And we are going in. FA Cup fourth round. What's the draw? Who are we seeing next? Any big teams starting to come in here now? i seen a few Hartley pulls in there. Nothing major. To be absolutely honest. Um, I don't want to do this full draw, so let's just advance to the end. And St. Albans will be playing. Come on, give us a good draw. Give us a good draw. Maidenhead in the league above us. Maidenhead are. Ah. Uh, how are they doing? They're 15, so they're a bit mediocre. In that league, are we away from home? Oh, okay. So we are away from home for that game, unfortunately, which is a bit of a sickener if I had to be absolutely honest with you. Uh, we will do one more game, of course. One more game. So I did say that we would get to see the league table in this video before we go into this game. We are playing Eastbourne Borough at home next. We are three points behind Yeovil in that automatic spot. It would be nice to maybe make that up here. Um, it would require a win. I think Jeffers is out. We are down to our third choice striker unfortunately and obviously next up will be the Maidenhead game which will be next video next video I don't want them to be too long for you all um, because I don't like to sit and watch a video for like super super long myself um, also it can be a good thing Maybe if we get to the playoffs, we could do that in one night. Maybe if some people want to leave a comment, let me know if you would like the videos to be longer or shorter. Are you happy with the way they are at the moment? If so, 
let me know. Okay. Aina's going to drop out because Wyatt can on change the game. It's not pretty reading. We don't have much else to change. I think Griffiths will drop out for Mema, who had a good game. But they always have a good game. And then the game after that, they play extremely poorly. Could we give... Torme an actual contract? He likes old Page. He likes old um, shifty contracts, doesn't he? Old Torme. He doesn't want to be paid a weekly salary. He wants to play, play for the privilege to be paid, and you've got to respect that about him, at the very least. And um, if you carry on to the last match, we'll do well. Let's keep this up. Uh, let's maybe escape here with another win. Look at that forum at the moment, absolutely flying in the league and in the cups very very happy man i think we've really made the right choice with st albans we're obviously very early doors at the moment we have no striker recognized striker this game zane banton our third choice striker we're down to at the moment torme don't need a striker nathan torme hits the one now and it's a good goal, Wyatt, on those set pieces. I have um, done a bit of work with the set pieces um, in terms of I wanted them flooding the box. I wanted them defending at the other end very heavily. And we've really focused up on trying to make the most of set pieces. We have some few tall players, some reasonable set piece hitters. And I felt that we could do a bit of business on the set pieces. Rousseau. I don't mind them shooting. I'll tell you why. Because it wouldn't be unlike Russell to score for there. I've seen him score 50 yarders. I would like to get out here nice and comfortable, get some players off the pitch if that is an option, which is a it's a nice thing to be saying at the moment. Uh, Ceci is just nipped in before Wyatt. Blackman, no. Oh, beautiful. On comes Mema. We know he's got some trickery. He keeps going. Armelindo Merma, who I think we were all thinking would not have hit the heights that he's had. He's just went on an absolute rinser of a run. Straight down the left. Cuts it by folks. Maybe you want him to sweaty there. But if he's confident, he can put it in. I'm okay with that, Armelindo. Armelindo, he's regressing as a player, which is bizarre to me. Because he's playing some games. He's playing some games. His accelerations went down. I think he's a good player. I do. Zane Banton's done nothing. Uh, Zane Banton doesn't look the worst either. Let's just say that. Here we go again. Torme. To wrap this up before half time, Rousseau. Over to Wyatt. Bornis. This is, is this Man City? Or St. Albans City. Mensa. Whips it across. Mema misses Wyatt. And it was so Mensa. Very happy with Mensa as well. It's very, very good player. They were going to loan him out this season. And I, I couldn't imagine the team without Mensa at the moment. There's a few guys here that have really made an impression on me nice and early. And it is save. I'm not like... Desperate for the season to finish already. Sometimes you get that way when the teams aren't playing well. If anything, I want to keep playing more, <laughs> which is a good sign. Um, Rousseau to Clark. Borges, and that's our third choice striker. Zane Banton finishing off the game. It's a big goal. Rousseau at the heart of it again, as always, plays into Clark. Born Magus onto Banton. Is he offside? Maybe. If they're not calling it, I ain't complaining. Um, okay. Right. I think now's the time. I'm going to take Rousseau off. I'm going to bring on Hoddle. 
I would like to get Jacob Hammond off. Yep. And we're going to take Tommy off. Protect the free me. <laughs> Protect all that we have. Our best players. The keeper as well. The keeper's really good. We have definitely done some pretty good business nice and early in the transfer window. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how the team performs without three of the biggest hitters for the rest of this game. Wyatt takes it forward. Bowery is well. Bowery is well. There's, there's some players in here. Hoddle. That's, that is absolute football. And it's 4-0. And we're going to save their blushes and we're going to skip the replay. 4-0. Blackman on the free kicks here. <sighs> really clinical on the set pieces. Um, if we're not given a coaching badge, we'll definitely, no matter what, we'll play at least a full season with St Albans. I don't want to leave like... I think there's a danger there now because we're doing so well that someone comes in for me. <laughs> and I'm open to moving, but not now. Not now. Not during the season. I'm not Brendan Rogers. I'm not Brendan, you know. Get loyalty to the Albans. I'll see out my contract if that is the case. I won't be signing a new contract unless there is assurances that I will be getting a coaching badge out of my time here, 4-1 at the moment, playing well, playing very well, very well, and it's a big result in the league, it'll be interesting to see the league table if Yovo have won, let's have a check at that, see where we're at just before we wrap up, don't want to look there now, because it tries to show you it, right, I didn't see it, I didn't see it, did you see it? I didn't see it. I can see up the top though, but I've not seen that yet either. Still second, which means St Albans undefeated in 10 games. Uh, Yeovil though, Yeovil, Yeovil, Yeovil. Who is playing in this team? They've got a big squad, in fairness they've got a big squad, yeah. They are going to be, yeah, it's a difficult one to overcome. They have some actual football players in that team. Uh, probably guys that have actually played for some form of teams and actually played games for the teams. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely a strong squad. Hey, look at him as well. He's on loan from Leicester. Yeah, it's going to be tough. I think the playoffs is where we are going to probably end up. You never know. Anything can happen. Maybe they lose their manager halfway through the season. Maybe January comes, they lose some of these players. Here's hoping. Mark Cooper, you not fancy a better job than those? You're well, paying him 1k a week. I'm on 400 I'm living in a bed set, basically. Um, all right, so that's us there, wrapped up. Um, anything that you would like to see for the save, if you're happy with the format of the videos at the moment, do let me know if there's anything you would like me to change, if you'd like me to show more of the games, change camera angles, anything like that, anything, anything. Message me about anything, and we will be back on the next game, which will be Maidenhead. And we'll probably take on the Farnborough game. And we'll keep going till this FA Cup runs. If we get knocked out of the FA Cup, my plan is to then push through to January and you'll see where we're at. But if we're still in the FA Cup, we're obviously going to keep playing that out. No one really cares about the FA Trophy. I don't, certainly. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Peace.